you won praise from the Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Uh, I saw the tweet, and uh, it's really big feat for you know a team of students. So congratulations to you all, and it's really uh, really nice to have you all over you, the video interaction. So Thank I you, just want to start by saying that uh, uh, have have you all joined this year, or you've been associated with the project for many uh, for like past few years? Um, uh, I have joined uh, last year, like mm -hmm. when I was in my second year, mm -hmm. and currently I'm in the third year. Okay, so uh, Pratik, you are the team lead, right, for this yes, year, sir. who's who's leading this uh, project. Can you tell us a bit about the project? Like you, uh, the other uh, yesterday when we were talking about, you know, the speed. Can you tell us about, uh, like you told me that an airplane, um, uh, an airplane can run an average speed of around 800 to 900 kilometers. And this loop, which you're creating, you know, will be double, almost double the speed. So can you yeah. tell what is what is uh, this exactly, this hyperloop meant to be, you know, how is it going to function? So basically, the current transportation system that we have, they are not able to run at higher speed due to the friction. Mm -hmm. uh, for the, for example, the transportation systems such as uh, train and bus, those mm -hmm. are running on the ground. They have like uh, friction on the wheel and uh, air drag. And similarly, mm -hmm. for the air transport also, mm -hmm. like aeroplane, they also have like air drag when they stay, like uh, run at very high speed. So in hyperloop system, what we are doing is is that uh, we are reducing that friction and the uh, wheels. We are uh, reducing that friction by using levitation. So okay. levitation, what levitation is, that will allow us to hover over the ground so that there is a min, like, uh, like there is no friction. And uh, in order to reduce the air drag, we are running the same uh, same pod inside of a tube under which like a uh, vacuum will be created. Uh, like I asked you, uh, you know, again, so will it will this kind of speed not crush the passengers in within, you know, inside the pod? Also, can you can you explain uh, what is a pod exactly in this uh, model? Uh, so, like to at, uh, in order to reach uh, the speed of sixteen hundred kilometer, we will not like, like we will not be just accelerating directly to the higher like, at higher acceleration. So, mm -hmm. there is something uh, some minimal amount of uh, g forces that a human body can understand uh, withstand. Right. So, uh, if we take example of uh, fighter jet planes. Like the pilots, those are the <clears throat> piloting the fighter jet. They understand like around five Gs to eight Gs, but no, a normal human being cannot like withstand that kind of uh, gravitation forces. So what uh, in hyperloop? What our plan is that uh, initially we will start with zero point nine to zero point one G of acceleration, so that it is like it will be like comfortable for uh, human bodies. Then. Mm -hmm. As the speed increases, as the speed increases, we will like, uh, like increase the acceleration uh, gradually so that normal human body cannot like feel that kind of acceleration. And uh, simultaneously, simultaneously, we will be able to reach the speed of 1200 to, uh, 1200 to 1600 kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So has this kind of a, uh, you know, this kind of speed or this kind of travel system been experimented anywhere else in the world so far? Yeah. There's not like uh, there are like uh, certain some companies which are working on the developing hyperloop, uh, such as like uh, this QM hyperloop and a few other like hard hyperloop. But they are also in the developing phase, so they haven't like tested it and like tested to the full potential, like to the full speed. Like uh, everywhere, everywhere in the world, uh, the development of this technology is going on. Mm -hmm. So, and everybody, you know, wants to know this question that from Chennai to Bengaluru in 30 minutes can, you know, covering a distance of 350 kilometers or approximately, can it actually happen? And if it can, then why, when can we see this, uh, you know, turning into a reality, if at all? Can you tell us about that? That's yes, like, uh, uh, if you see the calculation, if you're running at a speed of 500 kilometers per hour, then mm -hmm. it is like, uh, and uh, we have to cover 360. So, if we like, get at the time of acceleration and deceleration, it is possible to cover 350 to 365 kilometers in a th in 30, mi uh, 30 minutes. So, yeah, it, it is possible. And uh, coming to your question, till when we can uh, see this? So, all, all over the world, 
people are working on developing the technology and the pace at which the technology has been developed in this area I can say like uh, mostly like in 10 to 15 years we can like be able to see these kind of transportation this high speed transportation like uh, and yeah like within 10 to 15 years it can be a reality Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be. So you mean it can be commercialized yeah. by then? It can. Yes, uh, oh, that's that's great. So how did this idea of connecting uh, Chennai and Bengaluru came up in the first place? Uh, like you know, not why not any other? Uh, how did this come up? So like uh, I came at uh, in uh, Chennai, right. and uh, uh, lots of people travel from Chennai to Bangalore mm -hmm. because Chennai, uh, Chennai being the like. Uh, uh, it's a, like a uh, transport hub, like where the map, uh, part machinery has been developed, and mm -hmm. there is a port in Chennai also. So, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Bangalore is the technical hub. So, the transportation of goods from Chennai to Bangalore is uh, like happening daily on a, on a daily basis. So, if you're connecting Chennai to Bangalore, then this kind of goods, uh, this uh, transport of the goods can be happen using Hyperloop, which will Direct the time of uh, um, direct the time that uh, goods take to travel from uh, Chennai to Bangalore. So that's oh, so the like, it's like basic a idea, major right? intercity travel kind yes, of a, a corridor. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So that that's why this was picked as the as the as the basic, you know, yeah. the scheme. Okay, I see, I see. So I see Tam Tamanna Siraj also. He's a he's a, a part of the team. Yes, sir. He's our business head. Is your business head okay? So, uh, can you tell us about the business aspect of the project and how it is being worked out? Okay, so I'm a third year BTEC undergraduate from the Materials Engineering Department here at IIT Madras. So, mm -hmm. as Pratik said, I handle the overall business of this team. So, mm -hmm. coming to how we handle, so basically, business has a lot of things to do other than only uh, we take we mm -hmm. care about the money, we care about all the finances. We also work on branding Avishkar and also oh. like also overall outreach or aspects of whatever mm -hmm. comes into business, we handle that. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a brand already, right? You uh, can you uh, yeah? Could you could you tell me about the uh, about that uh, competition that was uh, you know held in this July, right? In yes, uh, in Scotland. Yes, ma'am. So, um, like when you, uh, IIT Madras came up uh, among the th three global uh, winners, right? Yes, So, ma you know, how, how it has to be branded and, you know, getting uh, funding and all from other in private institutions as well. So, how do you, uh, like, how do you communicate with the companies and what kind of time and, uh, you know, effort does it take? So, for example, this European Hyperloop Week, we... Uh, we had gone to Scotland where over uh, where students from over 30 international institutions have come and participated. So mm -hmm. we had talked to them, we discussed with them, we discussed with all of them, we like gained a lot of insight, mm -hmm. like how they are doing their things, how they are uh, approaching their companies, approaching industries, how the institute of theirs is helping them. So mm -hmm. we kind of, how do I say it? Like you can say we kind of did some product management research and mm -hmm. uh, and we structured upon new things on how to approach a sponsor, not sponsors, companies, industries, and sort of those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And that's how we generally do the things. Mm -hmm. so, but you all are so enthusiastic to actually devote your, you know, your your best yes, hours also uh, yes, to to making this happen. That's that's really great. So um, coming back to Pratik. Can you tell us about this, um, the 400 meter tube that you're constructing? Are you at the work site right now? No, like uh, we are not at the work site right now. Okay. Uh, the 400 meter tube that uh, is being constructed is in Thayu campus, like IIT Madras uh, extension campus, which is called IIT Madras Discovery Campus. Mm -hmm. And right now we are in like uh, the present campus of IIT Madras. So we are right, right. now, we are not at the like, uh, construction site. That, that's <clears throat> But like that 400 meter tube, like how it makes that uh, it's ma it makes it apart, like different from what others are building is that others are using like uh, the uh, steel thickness, uh, tube steel thickness is around uh, 22 to 18 mm. And uh, what we have done is from our research that we bring down that uh, thickness 
from 18 to 22 mm to 6 mm Mm-hmm. So, like, which drastically reduces the cost of infrastructure, bro, which comes, to, which goes into the tube, tube part only. So, like, uh, we reduced it to around forty-six to fifty percent. So, is it feasible? Like, it's yes, reducing it is feasible. Okay. Yes, so reducing it feasible. Like, uh, we have done uh, the simulation. We have done the testing. Like, we have a uh, two prototype that we have tested, and uh, we, uh, kind of like, uh. uh Like we are kind of check the methodology that we are following is correct and is it uh, is that and it okay. is feasible and then right now like uh, it is under under construction and we have, have a complete other uh, substructure part substructure includes foundation and pylons and the uh, superstructure part which includes track and uh, tube the mm-hmm. fabrication has been done and the uh, construction has to be like construction needs to be MS. So it's your first prototype. Sorry to cut you in between. So it's your first prototype of the Hyperloop, right? That will yeah. be tested. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so when when the testing will happen, you told me uh, over the course, you know, that will be next so year. When when next will... year by the Feb, mid Feb or uh, Feb end, we will that uh, construction will be done. So after the mm-hmm. uh, order at the like uh, end of the Feb, we can start our testing in that tube. Mm-hmm. So you will test it with um, you cannot test it with people. So how are you going to test it? You know, and what yeah. aspects will you be studying during this test? So that uh, the reason, first reason why we are uh, cannot uh, all, why we don't want to test uh, our product with people is that that some safety issues we can't like predict. That the uh, safety mm-hmm. like concern comes uh, after like testing. So we are going to rigorously test our prototype. Our system, our levitation, our uh, propulsion, everything we are uh, going to test it rigorously and find out like uh, what are mishaps can uh, uh, mishaps can be there during mm-hmm. our power run, and we'll try to eliminate those when we scale it up to the passenger level. So mm-hmm. that's how like we are planning to use four hundred meter tube. So basic idea of your, uh, this four hundred meter tube test setup is just to like to take the safety aspect of uh, our mm-hmm. system. And uh, then we are also going to use it to transport, like to check the feasibility whether we can transport goods from point A to point B, uh-huh. and uh, what all things need to be considered uh, during, like, in order to do that. Mm-hmm. So, so, what kind of goods can these be? Because I saw the, uh, I saw the video which shows the prototype. It's really small. So, yes, will sir. it that small, or how how will it be big? I don't know. Uh, now we could have, we can have uh, increase the length and uh, in trans transporting goods we can transport some of our tools some of like mechanical parts from point A to point B. Mm-hmm. This thing uh, oh. and like uh, from let's say like uh, if you want to uh, like uh, transport some uh, PCB like uh, which okay. uh, like which uh, man- which which is manufactured in basically in uh, Bangalore and all. So, mm-hmm. We can test uh, those kind of goods uh, in under the vacuum and uh, we'll check whether like what kind of uh, impact they have when we like uh, when we run them uh, under like such a high scale. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So this is this is your first big move on the Hyperloop project, right? Which is yes, which you're going to make next year. Yeah, and like okay. this four hundred meter tube is the only like test facility for Hyperloop in all India. Oh, across the country. Oh, across that's, the country, that's this really... is the only first mm-hmm. of the testing facility. Uh, that's really great. And you know, if if and I and we all hope that it's going to be a successful run. So if if it does happen, then what will be your next move towards like the real the larger aim that you have? So our larger aim, as I told earlier, our like biggest or long term goal is to connect Chennai to Bangalore. Mm-hmm. So in order to achieve that, uh, we have like uh, construct. We are like our four hundred meter tube construction is ongoing. After mm-hmm. the success of that four uh, hundred meter tube, our plan is to construct a ten meter, ten kilometer uh, tube, ten kilometer length tube out of concrete. Km. Yeah, out of concrete, uh-huh. and uh, on which like we can uh, test uh, uh, the travel, like uh, test the transportation of uh, people from point A to point B, mm-hmm. and like study that. And then we are going to like uh, scale it up to three hundred uh, and sixty-four kilometers. In order to so, uh, uh, when you do it for the ten-kilometer tube, how many people can can actually be there? Like, how many passengers will it? Can it be two, three, four, or six or more? You know. And ten uh, kilometer will be a test subject. 
so we okay. will design it uh, so that it can uh, have like three to four if the person inside it okay so because you know things like when the pod will be ready how many seats will it have what will be the space will it be air conditioned like other you know train rail systems in the country and over the world so all these things you know about the um, uh, like how it will be how it will look so these things have you have you already thought of or uh, will yes sir yes sir like so what we have in mind is the full scale pod will be around 34 meters long Mm -hmm. And uh, it will have uh, air condition, and uh, it will be isolated from the vacuum that is inside the tube, mm -hmm. and it will have a, like a uh, life support system which can uh, uh, take out the carbon dioxide that has been generated by a human body, and uh, it will also be like air con air, air condition. Like mm -hmm. uh, those all aspect we have taken in care, and uh, regarding safety also, like uh, we will have some kind of hatches uh, across the length of length of the tube. So mm -hmm. so. In order, like, in order, like, to have safety in the whole system. The whole system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, you told me that Indian Railways is helping you, uh, in yes, in yes, the manufacturing, right? Yes, yes like, uh, this four hundred tube uh, manufacturing is uh, backed up by uh, Indian Railways, mm -hmm. and they have given uh, us around eight point eight crore something. Like okay, for for the parts and for you know how uh, uh, for the to whole set to of together. Tube. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But for the for the final one, the bigger one, you'll need much more uh, funding, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're needing much more funding. <laughs> so, is the institute helping you get the funds? Is it uh, from in yes, you know, yes, industry yes, partners and all? From both institute and industry part partners, uh, everyone is uh, helping us in order to achieve this uh, four hundred meter tube. Okay. Oh, for this, and then yeah. for even yeah, for the then further... did, and then in the future, after the success of this four hundred meter tube, when we approach them, we hope that they will come ahead and also help us in uh, making mm -hmm. this uh, a reality, like making ten uh, ten kilometer and three six four kilometer tube. Oh, that that that's going to be really a great uh, feat, you know. And uh, you know, uh, since so you will grad you in the third year, right? And uh, next year you'll yes, you'll graduate from the institute, and if uh, you told me you you're pursuing a dual degree, so even after yes, you sir, graduate from working. the institute, will will you con you know continue to be connected to this project? Yes, sir. like the people those have already worked in the team and have graduated, they were mm -hmm. in contact with us. Okay. When we have doubt, we approach them like how they have done the things in previously. And what were the problems they were facing? How to how did they like overcome those kind of problems? So when people uh, when the team members uh, Avishka and Amelai they graduate, they don't they didn't leave the team. They mm -hmm. remain in remain in contact with the team and they provide their insight to over the work that we are currently doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So are you also publishing research that you you know you all are doing in and the research will be. Uh, like interdisciplinary, like it it uh, it involves a lot of different uh, disciplines, like bioengineering. You said material sciences and electrical engineering. Uh, so this this research, are you pub publishing it anywhere at at the moment, or do you plan? So like uh, we have two research paper ready. We are just uh, in like one or two months after finishing the things. Mm -hmm. We will publish, publish them, them. and then we have around five. Uh, like, we have three patents in our hand, and uh, we have uh, like two are uh, under the process. So totally, we have applied for five patents. Oh, okay. So, uh, and and you 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 are yet to get the pa patents, right? Um, three patents we got, and uh, two patents have... are yet. Yeah, two patent patents we will get in like uh, within this year or next year. Oh, that's that's really nice. So I I just want to congratulate you all once again, and. Uh, uh, we we are waiting for the for your for your you know the first uh, prototype test next year and we hope to meet again on this I believe. Thank you so much for your time and I wish you all the very best for this. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.